I'm coming to Vienna since 2015 regularly, and for me it means to meet colleagues from uh, all over the world and to have an exchange on uh, topics that uh, are of interest of uh, mine. And, and Vienna is a very good place for meeting because of the uh, localization on the, uh, on the map and because of the beautiful uh, cultural heritage assets and uh, having the opportunity to meet uh, the major hall uh, with colleagues from all over the world and spend evenings and discussions uh, is something special. Originally, um, I, I've always been a person who was very, very curious about why things are the way they are. And I could have gone in various directions, even biology, for instance, but um, archaeology always seems, or uh, culture in general, um, very broad and answering the big questions in the end behind everything is human culture. Um, and that's why I choose the direction of archaeology and cultural heritage in general. about it and so to create a relationship with it and then naturally one sees the value in it and tries to protect it. We are living in an endangered world and everything, um, in my opinion, is um, uh, not sustainable for a long term. And um, so I'm keen on, on the documentation of, uh, of architecture, art and architecture. And um, the leading question is how to do this with the new technologies because they are also not so sustainable. So how to secure and preserve also our digital data sets uh, to preserve our built environments is um, one of the challenges of um, today. Except that things change always, because uh, unless you, you, you use it as as part of, say, a museum collection, then you can have a controlled environment where you keep things. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you can't have it in museum like buildings, like landscape, like archaeology, especially archaeology in situ, of course, uh, you have to accept that, that there are changes. In, mm -hmm. uh, want to say, well, what kind of change do we accept, what do we accept as loss? Most of the things are very old and therefore, if they are still here, they were able to adapt or are more or less immune to certain changes. Yeah. Uh, and we should recognize that as well. Uh, you can't say, well, if you have a building like this and, and for instance, uh, the whole political system changes and you don't need uh, a, a city hall anymore, yeah, what are you going to do with a building like this? Uh, you might change its function and that would also change its, for instance, its interiors. Uh, but at least in the building, as long as it is, as it is used, it is, it, it is preserved. So that kind of changes you should calculate into your heritage map. Um, and I assume it's similar problems like in every area due to development where it's difficult to protect cultural heritage versus uh, let's make money. <laughs> Especially uh, uh, now with the the great uh, challenges in meet like, like, like energy transition, like uh, climate change. Uh, there's a lot you can learn from, from uh, past uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, if you, if you look at, at, at buildings in, in South Europe, uh, you have equally thick walls like, like the building here at the City Hall, but that also keeps them cool. And then, then you can, without adding energy, adapt to a, a changing climate. So you have to change your building regulations.
options mm -hmm. and you can learn from, from all solutions and reuse them yeah. uh, either the idea or the building or uh, installation itself. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you can, uh, water mills for, for, for a milling grain, which you can also uh, put a modern electric uh, generator into. I mean, uh, you still have the old building, it still has a function. It is heritage, it is preserved, but it is also working on uh, the, the solution of a modern problem in energy transition. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, well, it is not, not the brain middle anymore, no, but it still has a function for society. And I think that is, that is the most important thing we, we can do with, with heritage. would be that uh, the future generation um, will evaluate, explore digital uh, new technologies and uh, they should be critical and they should think um, how we can use them and uh, not just for fun in the moment but uh, how we can seriously use the digital uh, tools um, and technologies to make our life better and to understand our past um, in a better way. In one word, I would, I would, I would simply say fantastic for the people who are here and the talks you have. So, yeah. Mm, exhausting, uh, interesting, um, very nice to meet with friends, very positive. In one word, I had now 10 yeah. or something like this. <laughs> but... It was wonderful. I think. I think I would say educational. Mm, very exciting. Inspiring. <laughs>